Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get both types of PSP themes working, PTF and CTF working on Adrenaline Emulator. So if you guys are interested and you want to get this working, all you want to do is just open up VitaShell and then once VitaShell loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, the link to the Adrenaline themes will be in the description. Um, it's a Google Drive link, so all you would do is just click the arrow at the top right and it will begin downloading the zip file. So once it has finished downloading, you can now head over to your PC's downloads folder and find the themes zip file in here. So with the zip file, all you want to do is right click it and select extract here and it will extract it to your downloads folder. Now on your PS Vita, make sure you click the view tab at the top and then click on hidden items because we will be using the PSP MU folder for this video. Right guys, so back on your downloads folder, inside of the theme folder, this is all the themes I have. So these are the CTF themes. These are the ones that are like really customized. And there's also a few PTF themes in here. It's up to you if you want to install all of them or just a few of them. But with the themes folder, what you'll do is just right click and copy it. Go onto your PS Vita, go onto the PSP MU folder, go inside the PSP folder and just paste it in here. So it's around 50 megabytes in size, so not too bad, so you, you can possibly just copy across all of them. Right, next we want to sort out the SE plugins. So go back to your downloads folder, go inside of the SE plugins folder, double click to open the vsh.txt and just highlight and right click and copy this line of text. Now go back onto your PS Vita, back into PSP MU, into SE plugins, into the vsh.txt um, do a return on this one and just paste it in at the top. Then just go on file and save. Now we can close out this. Now there's one more file to copy over and that is the CXMB file. So right click and copy that. Go back onto your PS Vita, go into PSP MU and this one is actually pasted on the root of PSP MU. So I'm just going to right click and paste and as you can see it's copied it in here. So that is literally it for adding the themes, both CTF and PTF custom themes for Adrenaline on your PS Vita. So now you can disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on the PS Vita, we can now completely close out of Vita Shell because we no longer need it and we just need to look for Adrenaline. So it's right here, just press X and then press X to start it. Now on the main menu, the custom theme plugin should be running, but just to test, we just press select and then go down to the recovery menu and press X. On the recovery menu, scroll all the way down to plugins and press X and it will be the first plugin on the list. So as you can see, it's enabled by default. If it isn't, you just press X on it to enable it and it's as simple as that and it's called cxmb.prx. So we're just going to go up to back and then scroll all the way down and press X on exit. Now back on the main menu, it's now time to see if the custom themes work. So scroll all the way along to the settings, scroll down to the theme settings and press X. Now we can choose a custom theme. So there's quite a few of them on here. A lot of them are, um, you know, very different from each other. I think there was one that was kind of weird. I'll apply that one right now. as uh, just so I can show you guys. Um, it's this one right here. It will actually just do a whole reboot and then you can see uh, what the theme looks like when it loads back in. So as you can see, even, this one even has a boot screen logo and this is exactly what the theme looks like. So very different from the normal PSP theme. Um, kind of interesting. Some people wouldn't like it. Personally, I'm not too bothered. Um, you, you, you know, you can, you can still scroll for everything and go to settings. But let's take a look at some of the other themes. So if we go back into theme settings right here, we can apply some different ones. Let's just go into theme. There's quite a few on here, quite a few different ones um, that look really cool. So let's try this theme. Apparently it's a classic PlayStation looking one. So let's just apply this one right now. And then it's just going to reboot the VSH. Oh, and this one seems to be different. It has falling leaves in it. 
I'm pretty sure that's different from the picture. There you go, that is how you get CTF and PTF, both types of themes, running on the Adrenaline emulator on your PS Vita, so pretty cool stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.